On behalf of the government and people of Australia, I welcome participants to the wonderful city of Brisbane for this important and timely conference. I would also like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this conference meets. I offer a special greeting to those international experts and people with lived experience who have travelled so far to share with us the benefits of their wisdom and their experience. And I pay tribute to the leaders of the Australian medical and research community, such as Pat McGorry, who have done so much to build our knowledge and expand our tolerance. Those who commit or attempt suicide are our loved ones and our friends. Each of them is precious and should not be left to face the darkness alone. The French writer Albert Camus once said that suicide is prepared in the silence of the heart. And it is our job to penetrate that silence with understanding and with hope. Suicide prevention is a task for all of us, governments, clinicians, schools, neighbourhoods and families. It truly does need a whole of government, whole of community response. A response that also reaches across cultures so that we can understand the reasons why people from different backgrounds consider taking their own lives. I'm proud to have recently committed significant new federal government resources to the job of suicide prevention, as well as appointing our nation's first ever minister with responsibility for mental health, Mark Butler, who will join you for the closing ceremony on Saturday. These are new beginnings for suicide prevention in Australia. Supported by the findings of this important conference, let's break down those walls of silence and help build a world where no one feels suicide has to be the answer.